Hi, I'm Christy Jacobson, headmistress of the Buddha Duke High. And today I'm going to make a quick little video for my vlog. And I'd like to talk to all the students out there within the Buddha Duke High who are studying Buddha Duke Ninjutsu. And um, particularly those who are in the, uh, the Buddha Duke High online Ninjutsu Dojo, the solitaire practitioners who are uh, studying through uh, digital training. And uh, I'd like to extend in, uh, my hand out there and talk to you guys a little bit. Um, multiple times throughout the week, I get so many people, and I mean so many people, um, that will, you know, hey sensei this, hey sensei that, help me with this, help me with that, I got questions, all that kind of stuff. And the majority of questions aren't really martial art related, they're, they're personal life related, or um, they're about some other martial art, or they're about some martial art movie, or they're about some martial art organization or whatever that I don't ever get involved with, because I, I hate those kind of conversations. But um, I always come back with the same thing. When are you going to send a test? When are you going to send in some, some video review? And so many people buy the ninth Q program, uh, the ninth Q you know, level um, to train in the program, and they never send me video review, ever. It's like they buy it and then that's it. They don't ask me questions. They don't send me videos on how to do the, how they're doing the kamai, how they're doing blocks, how they're doing kicks, how they're doing this, how they're doing that. Um, are they doing something right? Are they doing something wrong? And, you know, I want to tell you guys this, okay? And I mean this. Um, I, I can't speak for other martial organizations and teachers. I can't, you know? Obviously, there are people out there that they don't spar, they don't lift weights, they don't have conditioning, they don't do a... And we do, you know? The way I was trained and the, the way I know how to make people better is to physically push them through exercise, challenge themselves through sparring, you know, critique them through learning the kata from the densho, you know. That's the way I learned it, you know. I never trained in a martial art um, school that didn't encourage physical conditioning, didn't have a physical requirement. And I got a feeling that the reason a lot of people don't send in their exams is because of the physical requirement. And it's like, you know, I want to tell you guys this. Your body, right, if you're a martial artist, that means you're training your body to be the weapon. You're training your body to be the most efficient and pragmatic weapon possible in any situation that's an intense, violent, aggressive situation. If you can't condition your own body just for basic fitness level, when you get in that situation, which you know, heart rate's going to go up, adrenaline's going to go up, anxiety, fear, stress, all these things are going to have an effect on your body. If you don't condition yourself to do certain things, you're not going to be able to perform. And that's the reason we do these things. And our body is very much like, uh, like a sword in a sense, the way that it's made as far as a martial artist. When you, when you, when you make a sword, the first thing you got to do is heat it up bang the shit out of it and put it into the shape that you want it to be in, right? That's the first thing you got to do. You're going to take this lump of shit, you're going to heat it up, and you're going to beat the piss out of it until you get it into the shape that you need it. And that's what we're doing in these, these basic Q rank levels is we're going to heat you up, we're going to make you sweat, you know what I mean? We're going to make those muscles burn, and we're going to pound that training, and you're going to hit the bags, and you're going you're gonna to train in the arts, that way you know that you can actually do it. Not theory. Not stand there with the thing out there and you're like, oh, and I could do this. And you can grab them by the pinky and walk them around the room. None of that crap. You know you're going to be able to do it because you've done it. You know, and, the, and that's what I mean. So the first thing we need to do is just like a sort. We're going to heat you up, pound you with the training, and get you into the shape that we need. Now once we do that and you, you get into the shape of the sword, what do you, how do you add uh, how do you add an edge? How do you add an edge to it? Well, you have to add friction. That's the only way that you can make that, short, that sword really sharp. The only way to make that weapon really sharp is to add friction. Well, that's what we're going to do through critique. We're going to make you learn various kata from various traditions. 
um, and we're going to critique you on your form and the way that you do things so that we know that the way that you're doing them is correct. So that way, when you take your physical conditioning and the pounding and the sweat and all the, and the muscles and the cardiovascular and the sparring and all the things that we're doing from a physical perspective, you take those skills and you mesh it with the mental part of the game where you're learning the kata and the kamai and all the various waza and the kuden and all that kind of stuff and you put it together. That's what we're searching for is that. And I get these people, I got hundreds of them. And, I, and, and that is not me exaggerating to make it sound better than what it is. I have hundreds of people that have purchased the ninth Q level and they talk to me all the time on Facebook, all the time on Twitter, all the time on YouTube, and not one damn time do they say, hey sensei, um, here's a video review of me just doing my Kamai, are they correct? Hey sensei, here's a video of me, video review of me just doing my, you know, my basic blocks. Am I doing it correct? You know, this kind of thing. Uh, here's me doing some bag work. You have any tips for us? You know, things like that. I don't ever get that. I don't get that from the people who don't test ever, ever. The people that send those review videos are the people that go to the eighth queue. Then they get review videos. They go to the seventh queue. They send me review videos. They go to the sixth queue. They send me review videos. They have the fifth queue. You know, the people who stay that interact with the school, they actually interact and get better. But if you don't interact with us and you don't give us an opportunity to critique you and to sharpen your skills, you're not going to get sharp. You know, and I get it. This this is going to go twofold because there are going to be people watching this video that are not part of the Buddha Dukai at all. Uh, they're not a student of the Buddha Dukai, and they're probably a martial art martial artist in the various uh, other martial art or other schools. You know, what this message isn't for that person. Obviously, that person trains somewhere else. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about what I do within the Buddha Dukai and the martial art that I teach of Buddha Dukai Ninjutsu. And the people who have joined this organization, this is how we approach it. Uh, you have to train your body physically to be a martial artist. You can't sit there. I mean, would you have a gun and that you never take care of? It's all rusted up, just rusted up shotgun in the side of the room and you never touch it. You never clean it. It's just there. I mean, how efficient is that shotgun going to be when you need to use it and it's all rusted to shit? You probably could use it, but it's not going to be as efficient as if you took good care of that gun and you cleaned it and you made sure everything was how it's supposed to be when the ammunition was ready, right? Same thing here. Your body is the weapon. So unless you take care of your body through physical conditioning, diet and exercise, constant training within the martial arts, it's not going to be as efficient as it can be. You know, and this isn't a shot at me or the people who doesn't have a lot of muscle or the people who are really overweight and blah, 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 blah. I'm talking to my students. You guys need to make yourselves better. I'd like to see you guys send in some review videos. Here it is again. Now we're in 2016, and there are many people watching this video right now that probably bought the Ninth Q video like years ago. And I mean that. They bought it years ago, and they still haven't sent me a review. And the reason most people don't test isn't because they can't do the basic stances or the basic blocks that's on the Ninth Q level. You don't have to perform at a black belt level to take a ninth cube yellow belt test. You have to perform as a yellow belt for crying out loud. And people have this image of themselves that doesn't translate into what I'm looking for. I'm looking for martial arts skills. So if you're doing the test in the living room or you're doing it in your backyard, you know, or whatever, I don't care. I want to see you perform the martial arts. I don't care what you do it. You know what I mean? I care about what your actions are. I care about what you're doing. Not where you're doing it at and all that kind of stuff, you know? It's people have this self-image. And a lot of times people don't do it because of the physical exam, you know? And they're like, oh shit, you know, level one, she wants me to do 10 push-ups and 10 sit-ups and this and this and this and this and that. Fuck that. Why? I mean, ask yourself why. You have an opportunity. Something in you guys triggered something for you guys to be like, yeah, she's pretty good. You know, what she's doing, she's pretty good at what she does. Look at the tens of thousands of people that follow her on Facebook and Twitter and YouTube and all these videos and this and Ninja this and that. Yeah, she's good at what she does. I'm going to join Budo Ryukai. And then you join. So there's something that triggered you guys to watch what I'm doing. And then you guys purchase the program. So keep going. Right? 
keep going. I mean, do you look at the car lot? I like that car. And then you buy that car, but then you never drive it? No. You drive it, right? You, you actually get into it and you let that vehicle get you from A to B. Okay, so you got online and you saw the advertisements and you saw the videos. You purchased the product. Now get moving. Huh? Get moving. Get off your ass. I mean, when I have to send you an email and it's like, hey, you know, you told me six months ago you're going to send me review videos, I've got nothing. Hey, you told me a month ago you're going to send me your Tonto Jutsu part on your level, I've got nothing. Hey, you told me three months ago you're going to do this, I have not received anything. You know, and the thing is, is people, another excuse that I get is, well, I got to, I don't have much time for, for videotaping. You're training though, right? I mean, I'm going to bet you the majority of you guys watching this video right now, you're, use, you're watching this video with the same tool that you would use to tape yourself. You're probably watching this with a smartphone for crying out loud. With the same smartphone that you would videotape yourself is what you're using right now to watch this for the, for the majority of you. And if you're using a computer, you could use your webcam, right? But you're still, you're, you're watching this video right now with quite possibly the same tool that you would use to videotape yourself. It's very possible, but you don't. And if you guys are training two or three, four times a week, then you already have video time. Just tape yourself training. That's it. Just put your phone up, hit record, walk over, you know, do the techniques, do whatever that you're doing, da da da. Send me the damn video for review. Let me help you get better. You know, and a lot of you guys are not allowing me to help you get better. And then I get on, this is the, this is the sad part. I know this is mom now giving the emotional, you know, trying to use whatever to motivate your ass. But this is the sad part. This is the sad part, okay? A lot of you guys on the 9th Q program, you don't send me the review videos. And you talk to me a lot. You talk to me a lot on social media. And then I look at your Facebook pages and it's like, down in the dumps, depression sets in, this, this, and this, oh, woes is me, blah, blah, blah. And I know damn good and well you're not working out. You're not doing the program. You're not doing something positive for yourself. You're not sending me those review videos. I mean, if you've got the time to get on Facebook and put this long letter of like why you're so depressed, then you have the time to push record and work out and do martial arts. You know, every second, you make a choice on what you're going to do the next second. And if you've been with me so far in this video, now it's your choice. What are you going to do? Hmm? You're going to train in the arts. Are you just going to not, are you going to just finish this video out, get down there in the description and be like, aren't you? It was a great video. And then I never hear from you again till the next video. You know what I mean? So I know this was a this this video is something that uh, uh, wasn't scripted. Usually I have kind of bullet points off to the side of things that I want to cover. This is not scripted. This is just me saying I started the Budo Dukai years ago because I want to help people be better people. That's what I want to do. I want to help people be better people through the arts. And although I have thousands of students that are on the program and thousands of students that are doing so well. I also have thousands of students that are on the program and they're scared to take that first step to start driving that car. So for that group, people that have the program but they haven't done anything yet, let's go. Don't let another year go by. Life is way too short. Life is way too short. And sitting around saying that you're going to do it tomorrow isn't going to get it done. This is an opportunity for you to refocus, look at the things that you want to do, and if you'd like to dedicate yourself to authentic ninjutsu and classical samurai bujutsu and continue your training with the Budo Dukai, I'd love to help. Thank you guys very much for all your love and support. I deeply appreciate it. Until next time, take care, be safe, and good luck in your journey of Budo.